Obsidian is plain text-based, so working with images can kind of be a bit finicky. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily add and organize your images in Obsidian, plus show you some innovative ways to use images so that they become useful tools instead of an annoyance. The first thing you need to do to be able to start working with images in Obsidian is specify where you want your images to live inside of your vault. This vault that I'm working in today is my gamified task manager project where I'm taking a task manager and combining it with a life sim game. The images are all stored in a folder called assets. You can see that over here. To tell Obsidian that I want all of my images to be in this assets folder, I do that in the settings, open up settings, go to files and links, and then go to default location for new attachments. Now this gives you a few different options. You can either have them be saved to the vault folder, so the top level folder. You can have it be specified, or you can use, specify a folder to be able to put them in. I'm specifying the folder assets. You can have them just be put into the same folder as whatever file that you're currently have open. That way the images live right next to the notes that have them in it or you can put them inside of a subfolder under the whatever current folder you are working in. As I said, I have it specified to go to a single folder. This way I know where all of my assets are, all of my images are for this vault. So now that I've specified a place where I want my images to be saved, I can start adding images to my notes. So I'm gonna open up a regular note to start with. For this project, I work in two week periods of time called sprints. Right now I'm working on updating some of the sprite images for the game side of this Gamify Task Manager. So I'm going to actually go ahead and put in an image that already exists inside my vault. As you can see, I've already got some in my assets folder. To add something that's already in your vault, you just type an exclamation mark and then the double brackets like you're searching for a note to link. And we're going to have the base character sprite. So this is one that I've been working on. This is what it currently looks like. As you can see, it puts in this link here. When I click off of it, that link disappears. And if you're clicking on this, it shows back up. Now, it doesn't always work exactly the way you expect it to. So I like to add a space afterwards. If I'm trying to get to that link again, I can just put it underneath the image and then I use the arrow keys to go up to it. So that's how you add an image that's already in your vault. Now say you want to add new images to your vault, which is what I wanna do in this case. There's a couple of different ways that you could do this. You can find the assets folder or whatever the folder that you're saving your images to. You can find that in your file system and you can take these, uh, whatever images that you want to add and you can drag them in. However, there's a much easier way to do this. We can actually close this assets folder and then we can just grab this new version of the base sprite and just drag it right into the note and it shows up for us. Now with that setting that tells Obsidian, put all of my images in the assets folder, you can see it put it right there into the assets folder. So that's how simple it is to add new images into your notes. You just drag them in and Obsidian saves them where they need to go and it puts in the link for you automatically. So let's say I wanted to move where my images are in my note. You can't just click it and drag it around. If you do click and drag, it actually just makes a copy of what you had before. So now I have it twice. I don't want to copy it, I wanna just move it. So in order to be able to do that, I can just go down here and do cut, and then add it up here, paste, and then my image is in a new spot. Now there's actually a faster way to do this. We can use some shortcuts to help us out. So let's go over to settings. And we're gonna to go to hotkeys and we're gonna search for move line. And these allow us to be able to use keyboard shortcuts to move lines up and down really, really quickly. So I've got my hotkeys set to option and then the arrow. So move line down is option down, move line up is option up. You can set this to whatever you want. So go ahead and do that by clicking this plus button. And now when I go back in here and click on this and using option up, down, I can actually just move this around. So move uh, option up and down. 
I can move that wherever I want it to be in the document. And that's a quick way of being able to move images around inside of a regular note. So we're restricted in regular notes to having images be either above or below text. Can't have it be side by side unless you're doing custom CSS, which most people don't know how to do that. Another place that we can work with images and where you can move them around wherever you want to is actually inside of a canvas document. So we're gonna open up my character dashboard here. Got some example uh, link sprites for my animations that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be focusing in here. We've got all the different pieces of clothing and accessories that I have created so far for the characters in my game. And as I said, I've been updating the sprites in particular to make the feet look a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the older images with the new images. And I can do that the same way that I did with regular notes. I can just go to my file system, grab a sprite, I just drag it in and now it's on my canvas and this gets saved into the assets folder right here. I can also add images that are already in my vault. So we already added the new base sprite to the vault. So let's go ahead and drag up from here from that control down at the bottom. Let's add media. And then we're gonna add this new version of the base sprite. And I can go ahead and delete the old one, move this up into position and then well, I can't connect it just yet because I'm gonna be adding new versions of these as well. So go back to here and we'll drag in the new versions of the shoes, new versions of the socks. Now I can go in and delete these and get these new versions of things put into place. Now I can go in and connect these back up. So Canvas is probably the nicest place to be able to work with images because you can drag them around and move them around however you want. However, there might be times when you want to be able to link to different images. For instance, if you have pictures of handwritten notes or hand-drawn notes, I like to do what's called sketch noting, where I draw out things in my notes, but I want to be able to link those to other notes inside my vault. So I have to have them inside of regular notes. I can't link directly to images when they're inside of a canvas. So I've got this all set up in another vault of mine. So let's switch over to that. And what we see here is a gallery view of all the different sketch notes that I have inside of this vault. I'm using a community plugin called Projects in order to be able to do this. So in order to be able to get this Projects, you go into Settings, go to Community Plugins, Go to Browse, and we're going to search for projects. That's this first one by Marcus Olson. You can click on it, and you can go in and install it from here. I already have it installed. And then you go to it by hitting this icon on the side, this Open Projects icon, and that will open up this Projects view. So when you first open it up, it will prompt you to create a new project. So I've created a sketch notes project, and then I created a gallery view. You create a new view by clicking on this plus button here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the project settings. So when you create a new project, it'll give you this same window. You put in a name, you can decide whether you want the project to be opened by default. You specify what source you want it to pull from. So we've got folder, tag, or data view, which is another community plugin that lets you query for notes. And then I've got the sketch note tag. That's the, the tag I want it to look for. Uh, because I have notes scattered across multiple folders, I can't just use just the folder. And then I've got a few more settings. I have a template for new sketch notes that uh, I put in here. And I don't want the template to show up in my results, so I exclude it there. So we hit save, and then let's go ahead and take a look at the template. What it does is it adds in an image property and then the sketch note tag for me. So let's go ahead and open one that already exists. So I just add in the image, just like we've learned how to do before. And then you copy this URL up into this image field. That's what allows it to be able to show as an image in that gallery view. And then the sketch note tag is already taken care of. And then what's nice about this is that if there are additional notes or anything that I want in this, I can write them out below. So now I have this image that I can link to from other notes 
And if I want to be able to see all the different sketch notes that I have inside of my vault, I just go to my gallery view here and I can see them all here. If you're wanting this inside of your vault, you can either copy the steps that I just showed you. If you would like this already set up for you, I've actually included this in my Obsidian for Beginners vault that you can go to my website and download. I'll include a link in the description for that below. I hope this was useful for you in seeing how you can better utilize images inside of your Obsidian vault. If you'd like to see more Obsidian tips and tricks, you can check out my Obsidian for Beginners playlist right here. Thanks for watching.